welcome again in part 1 we had discussed about pH electrode its working method we had also discussed about circuit diagram and its connection before starting this video please watch the part 1 of Arduino based pH meter the link is given in the description section now let's start with calibration of pH module so let's calibrate this module step 1 connect all the component as shown in circuit diagram as we had already did the entire connection so we can jump to step 2 step 2 upload the calibration program to your Arduino board you can download the software code from the link given in the description section this program is only for voltage reading it is not compulsion that you have to use this program you can also measure the output voltage at point P0 of this module using multimeter step 3 remove this electrode from BNC connector and then salt this inside connector with outside for that I am taking help of this crocodile connector and then adjust this potentiometer this offset calibration closer to BNC connector until this LCD display 2.5 volt after achieving this 2.5 volt now it's time to immerse it's time to reconnect this electrode to this BNC connector and immerse this electrode to known solution now for calibration I am taking two standard solution one is of pH 6.86 whereas another is of pH 4.01 that is the buffer solution of borex now let's immerse this electrode to at first I immerse this electrode to pH solution 6.86 and it shows the reading of 2.54 similarly the next step is to immerse this electrode to this 4.01 buffer solution of borex for that we have to wash this electrode to pure water and I had immersed this electrode to pH 4.01 that is solution of borex and note the voltage reading that is 3.04 you have to note one thing before now the voltage read by Arduino is now converted to pH by using equation of a straight line. The voltage read by Arduino is now converted to pH by using equation of a straight line that is y is equal to mx plus c. For converting we need slope m and constant c. For calculating m and c we have taken the voltage reading at two different pH solution that is for pH 6.86 buffer solution of phosphate and pH 4.04 buffer solution of borex while testing in base engineer project lab we found corresponding reading voltage at pH 6.86 is equal to 2.54 volt similarly voltage at pH 4.01 is equal to 3.04 volt now we all know that formula for slope that is m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 let's say x parameter be voltage and y parameter be pH value thus x2 is equal to 3.04 x1 is equal to 2.54 and y2 is equal to 4.01 and y1 is equal to 6.86 
Now putting this value to equation m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. By calculating we found m is equal to that is slope is equal to minus 5.7. Now again we have to calculate the value of constant. For that let's put the value of slope that is minus 5.7 in equation y is equal to mx plus c. Where let's keep the value of x is equal to 2.54 and y is equal to 6.86. That is voltage and pH of buffer solution of phosphate. Now we know c is equal to y minus mx. As we had already calculated slope is negative quantity thus the minus of slope and this minus between this equation become positive thus the value of C is equal to 21.34 these are the value we need in our software code for calculation pH value of water based solution now let's see the software code you can download the software code from the link given in description section. Software is written in Arduino programming language and compiled using Arduino IDE. This software takes reading from Electro LM35 and DS18B20 and convert it into PHF solution surrounding temperature and solution temperature. For working up this code, we need four libraries. Liquid crystal I2C for 20 into 4 I2C LCD, one wire and Dallas temperature for DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor, and math.h is used to calculate absolute value of floating type quantities for calibration. Include math.h is not necessary as it is already included by default, but here for demo to show the working of FABS that is floating point absolute value we are including so using and not using of this library want to factor code in software code we had also generate a special character for plus minus this software code basically takes 10 different reading at fixed interval of time and calculate average the average value is further converted to voltage and then pH using formula of a straight line. Later we compare temperature of surrounding and solution and further calibrate the pH value. According to the data sheet of electrode, the temper if the temperature difference between surrounding and liquid solution is less or equal to 5 degrees Celsius then there would be tolerance of 0.1 pH that is plus minus 0.1 pH. Similarly, if the temperature difference between surrounding and solution is more than 5 degrees Celsius, then there will be tolerance of 0.2 pH, that is plus minus 2 pH. Now let's see the output of this project. Here for demo purpose, I'm going to measure the pH value of this water and pH value of lemon water solution. Down the code to your Arduino from the link given description section, As you can see here, environment temperature is about 23.60 degrees Celsius, solution temperature is 21.94 degrees Celsius, pH value of solution is 7. Point around 10 plus minus 0.1 pH. This 0.1 pH plus minus tolerance is due to the temperature difference between environment temperature and solution temperature is less or equal to 5 degrees Celsius. It need time about 2 minutes to stabilize the reading. So let's check the pH of lemon solution. And the temperature of this lemon solution. As you can see, the pH of this lemon solution is drastically decreased to about 3.50 pH. Now I am going to compare the result of this DIY pH meter with this. A standard pH meter. 
for that I'm going to connect this BNC connector of electrode to the BNC connector of this standard pH meter as you can see the result of these two is quite near as you can see the result of this standard pH meter is of about 3.47 or 45 and the result from this DIY pH meter is also approximately same as you can see in this way you can make your own Arduino based pH meter thank you for watching this video please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon